Um, right, today uh, I'm bringing you a different kind of puzzle, something that I don't normally show. Uh, we were out and about today, and um, we were actually we were actually on a mission. We were going to find one specific puzzle, if you will. And um, unfortunately, I didn't find it until the end of the day, and my daughter had a little bit of an altercation with the saleswoman, so I didn't bring it home. But that's all right, because I think I got uh, a couple of really good deals today, and I'm just going to go ahead and show them to you. Hopefully you can see these. This one is a, a fish, and each of these are um, a lock, and as you can see, there's the key goes into the back side of the fish, and let's see if I can do this, and see if I can, nope, that's what it goes upside down. The problem with these is trying to work out how to unlock each of the locks, and they actually do work, there we go. Oh, I see what I've done. Silly me, I've, I've locked him. Correctly. Now this one, um, I'm a little bit of problem with. Um, what have I done to the fish? There it is. The fish. The fish is now locked up tight. And we're going to put that lock in there. And pop out comes the fish. So there's the, the locking mechanism and the fish itself. It's quite heavy. I don't know how heavy they are, but they're quite heavy. And basically what's happening is you're putting that into there and as you put it into there you can see that it's closing off this bit right there. So the metal lock key going into there is shutting that and that's releasing it so that it can come out of the end of the fish. So I'm going to put that fish uh, back together again. Okay. The fish has been forced a couple of times, I can see that. Whoever had this fish before was not very nice to the fish. So there's a fish. Uh, the next one I picked up was a turtle. Now, the turtle uh, is pretty much the same as the fish. You put it in there. Um, the turtle's arms and legs move. You can see them going up and down. Here, at the back, they go up and down as well. Okay. So the turtle has got the locking mechanism going through his body. It extends beyond. It looks almost like a tail sticking out, as you can see, on the turtle. And this one is pretty much the same uh, kind of mechanism. Now the, the guy that sold it to me was desperate to sell me the turtle. Absolutely desperate. He. When I first looked at the turtle, it wasn't working, and I said, no, I'm not going to get it. Catherine and I went and we had uh, done some more shopping, we had afternoon tea with Daddy, we went and did some more shopping, and I was on the way back to the um, train station, and the guy came running up to me and he said, I fixed the turtle. Well, maybe, and it did work when I bought him. But um, can you all say sucker? No. Um, I think what's wrong with the turtle is that as I'm oh yeah that's right that's right as I'm pinching the turtle over he's he's still having his um, I'm, I'm he's doing turtle surgery here uh, as I'm pinching the turtle over. The bit here is still unbent, so I've got to actually take the turtle apart a little bit later on and see if I can't sort him out. I think his key is wrong, too. 
but uh, that's, another, that's another story. Okay, the next one I got was this musical instrument, and I think this one is quite cute. Um, it's the same thing. The strings are the locking mechanism this time, and you put in the lock. Oops, let me see. Remember which way it goes. Yeah, and as you do, it comes out. So I've separated the um, base from the top, and this one you can see has got a nice, pretty wide. Um, bow there and as it goes in it just tightens it up and it comes right out of the musical instrument. So another um, Chinese lock. Now these aren't really trick locks, they're just paddle locks of different types. Now here this one I thought was really cute when I saw it I just said okay fine it's going home with me I didn't bother to dicker or say anything about the price. It's a bull, and his head turns. I think he's just sweet. I'm taking him into the office, and uh, he's going to lock my drawer because his head turns. I like him. Uh, right. So the bull is the same thing. Effectively, you've got to put the piece in, push it out, and the bull's head comes out of there like that. So I like I like the yeah. The problem with these is you've got to make sure you've got them lined up properly, otherwise... So, that's the bull, and I think the bull is, is really cute. He's kind of laying down, sitting down, but his head turns. He's a sweet little bull. Okay, so those were four very simple padlocks that I bought. Now, I went after a uh, combination, Chinese combination lock, uh, for a friend of mine. Um, and, as I said, my daughter was, uh, she was trying to make a bargain. She was looking for some beads at the same time, and the lady agreed to a, a price, and then with the beads and with the lock, and we had, we had come up with a, a combined deal. See, all these things are coming from mainland China, and most of them are coming from graveyards that they dug up. Um, I, I really don't want to think about where they're coming from. Uh, probably not the nicest place. The stuff really smells bad. Um, but when the lady turned around and tried to convince Catherine she should take one she didn't want, Catherine said, do you want the money or not? And uh, apparently the lady didn't want the money because she didn't want to untangle the necklace that Catherine had wanted. Okay, the next one I've got, now I know this is a, a rather modern one, it's not, a, it's not an antique, but it's still uh, nice all the same. Uh, it looks old, it's got a nice little patina on it, and it's a fish and it has two locks that it comes with. The locks are pretty standard looking key locks. Um, both of them work. You can see here the fish's um, flipper is supposed to cover that um, hole, but it's sliding down. It's, it's very loose. And you put it in and you turn it. Now, when I pull it off, it doesn't come out. This one's got a little trick to it. If I can turn it and do this, okay. This one does work. I just need to get my finger stuck. I can feel the spring inside there, so it's pretty cool. Um, and uh, I'm not having any luck with these locks tonight. People that sell these things to me are really nice. Of course they are. I'm saying, look at that stupid Western woman. She's over here to buy another one of these locks that won't work. You can hear the the spring. Can you see it releasing itself? It's there we go. No. Okay, well this one's not gonna open for me either. Take it back to her tomorrow and say, hey. The lock didn't work. Let's try the other key. Let's go in there. 
Oh. Bam. Bam. Ah. Okay, well. At any rate, it's got a trick. When you go past the lock, this eyeball pushes in. And that should release that locking mechanism. But of course, it's not working. I'll get it to work. The other one that I bought was a turtle. And this one, again, is quite heavy. It's got um, two pretty standard looking keys that go with it. Again, a nice little patina on it. It's probably a newer lock. Um, it's got HA written on the back of it. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, on one side and on the other side it's got a bunch of um, different characters. Um, don't know what they say, don't know what they mean. This looks like a, a, a lotus flower motif, something to that effect. Anyway, this one's pretty much the same. You turn it and it comes to a certain point. Oh, what a key. It just spins and spins and spins. Okay. Alright, when you get to that point, you push the turtle's head to the side and your lock opens up. So this one's got a, a double shank over there, two, two locky bits in it, and the turtle's head being pushed to the side is what eventually opens that one up. So there you have it, um, two Chinese puzzle locks, uh, sadly I didn't get the other one. Um, these two I'm pretty sure are newer locks, the turtle and the um, fish. And um, just a number of old Chinese things. Thank you.